All right, so I guess I have to catch everybody up to speed because things kind of went a little quicker than I really expected. Um, we need to explain in a video before this one um, that uh, we've had a lot of issues with blood work up with the clinic we've been going to here in Michigan. Um, and so we felt like we were going to be missing the opportunity to transfer this month because my blood workup wasn't where it needed to be and the following week it was actually really really high so we thought maybe there was a mistake made and there was a, a few bumps along the road about getting what they needed the accurate blood workup but i just got a call today and it looks like i have a transfer date for transfer two i am so excited this is the last thing i expected it's been a very long week at work um it's just a very amazing day to get to get this news and um, of course, I want to tell James again in a very special way, and I'm at school again, so it's kind of just like a repeat of the first time, but it's kind of special. So um, I'm a little emotional because I didn't think it was going to happen, and I was kind of really shocked when she called and told me that the levels were still okay enough to start. So um, transfer date is going to be a very special um, time frame this year for us, so I can't wait to figure out a special way to tell him, and uh, hopefully I can record it, and we'll see um, what goes on uh, later. I'll try to get home. Um, I actually got to give me myself my first shot uh, as soon as I get there and then I uh, go to the store and get a few things to prep for James before he gets home from work so let's do this as quickly and as fast as we can and ignore the tear stained face and the tired face I haven't had that much sleep in the last few days but um, I'm on cloud nine right now so let's get started okay so I just got home and I asked James because um, he texted me and said that he's on his way and I just made it home. So I texted him. I said, I'm making spaghetti. The sausage in the, in the fridge isn't good. Can you stop and get some new ones? And while you're there, grab some eggs just to kind of make it sound legit. And he responds with, I just bought that yesterday. I didn't realize that. And he said, and there's eggs in the fridge and some extra in the outside fridge. So I kind of picked the wrong thing to tell him to get at the store. Um, but I don't really have time to try to make it up. So I'm going to try to just, um, take my shot and make it to the store before he gets home. I mean, it takes him like maybe 30, 40 minutes. So I am on very tight time to get something together. Without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. Stories I've been told, they never seem to lead my mind. We're at the store. I parked somewhere. James won't see me if he comes. I got him to go ahead and stop for a few other items. So um, now we gotta run in and uh, see if we can get some food really quick before he gets here because we use the same Kroger's. Um, so I kind of parked in an area I know he doesn't park um, by where the employees park. So they're working on the balloons. He said 15 minutes. So I'm wondering if James is gonna show up within that time frame. Um, I'm gonna probably find a place to hide and watch out for him just so he doesn't ruin his own surprise. Gotta stand kind of where I can see the balloons but where I can see the door that if he comes and I can kind of sneak around the area. So, uh, oh, sending him to the store is probably the worst idea but I didn't know how else to stall him so I can get home and set it up. All right, I'm gonna update you guys what I'm thinking since we're on the straightaway here and I'm basically home. Um, so I like to kind of incorporate sweet little sentimental things between James and I for um, kind of every process. It just makes a little bit of the journey easier when you can have a little piece of both your hearts involved in it. Um, and so we both obviously love the movie Up. And as you guys already probably know um, a lot of people in fertility love that movie because it finally highlights something that's real and important and um, encourages it in a gentle way kind of um, that it's okay to talk about um, and so my uh, theme for telling him um, is uh, up so I got some balloons and I am going to give him something else that he loves his axe is one thing I'm thinking of axe throwing so I think I just came up with a good idea I made a cute little image um, and I had them put it in one of the balloons behind me um, with our transfer date on it for James so I'm gonna um, have it out there in the yard when he gets home and surprise him and uh, have him throw an axe at all the balloons and uh, hopefully I can find a backdrop and uh, he has to see which one has the date of our transfer in it something kind of fun and cute and just meaningful between both of us so anyways I just got home I know James is probably just now or at least been at the store for five minutes or so so um, I got probably 15 20 minutes to set this up Great, right, I got the board set up it's very simple because like I said I have absolutely no time today um, I gotta go in the house and get his balloons um, 
and get that together. Um, and I'm gonna tape them to the board, get his ax, and uh, just wait for him to come home and tell him to throw away. Oh, I am so excited. Um, this is, again, our second transfer. So the feeling of getting to even transfer is still very much a dream, especially this time having to wait because of COVID, because of health um, issues with the blood workup, because of just all of the above. It's just so exciting to finally get to this moment we've been waiting for for such a long time. We still have a battle. We still have to be able to get through the state bands and to be able to have good results with the blood workup and with the uh, ultrasounds. But, you know, God's been in control this entire time. And if tomorrow he shuts it down, of course, we're going to be heartbroken. Um, but we know that it is always for his benefit and his glory for, you know, what he wants to do through me and James. And um, it's just incredible. I know so many people are having a hard time right now wanting to be able to do things, their transfers and move forward and um, try again for another pregnancy. And it's been a depressing time for most people because they're locked inside their houses, can't see their friends. So um, I'm just so thankful for this little bit of light that James and I finally get to have and share together and um, hopefully share with our friends and family soon and with you guys soon. So um, a lot of you guys have been asking what's going on and it's just been um, a whirlwind. So I really want to make sure we can get our ERA result video out since we're slowing down a little bit and um, get that out first and then send this one and oh anyways I gotta hurry because he's coming I'm just and too excited I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna rain because it's starting to look a little dreary and getting windy so I hope I don't lose any balloons and I don't really remember what balloon he told me that the actual info was in so um, we'll see there they are we try to go with all the up colors I'm gonna try to put them on the board all right here's the finished product it's obviously not supposed to be super cute because I didn't have a lot of time, but there's all the colored balloons, the axe, um, and I have my first shot I just took right there um, for him to come see so he knows it's official. I mean, I could have stolen one of the other like hundreds that we've taken, but there it is. Now all I have to do is go get my camera. I have it charging and hopefully you can see it better. This is the uh, my cell phone because I was just running out of time. So I got the camera charging and hopefully has enough memory to capture this moment. He should be here any minute. So I'm uh, hiding out in a little spot. I want to kind of get him on camera coming in if I can and uh, see if he can come find me in the backyard with this little surprise. His birthday is on August 18th. So it's actually coming up pretty quick. So he might actually think that this is like a birthday gift or a birthday game or something. So um, I'm thinking that he might be a little kind of confused. So it might be a really good opportunity to kind of surprise him with everything right back there. Um, and I'm just kind of watching the entrance. And again, I think my neighbors think I'm a little crazy. In case you're wondering how my plan is going, you can tell by the screen that it's not going very well. It's now uh, 9:10, and he's still not home yet. Um, I try to only put a couple things on his grocery list, but I'm sure he thought of a bunch more and it was kind of busy when I was there. So um, I'm hoping he's almost here because I'm going to start getting bit up pretty soon. And I think I smell a skunk. <laughs> so I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see the video of him doing the axe thing. So we'll see what happens. This is just part of taking it as it comes, right? As you can see, it is completely dark now. I don't know what is keeping him, but I had to go get one of our lights so I could try to at least catch his expression. Um, and you can't really even see it. It's way out there. So maybe we can carry the light out there. But um, by golly, we're still going to do this because I've been waiting outside for over an hour. So hopefully he'll be here pretty soon. He's here. Finally. He's finally here. Maybe it's a good thing it's dark because he can't see me. I wear a black dress. to the other side. I have 
a big surprise for you. I'm getting a truck. <laughs> we got our transfer date today. I'm sure you kind of already noticed us. No. She said the blood work up was fine, even though the levels were high. And I actually started my first shot at seven tonight. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I've been waiting outside for over an hour for you to arrive trying to surprise you. I've made a little game for you so you can figure out the transfer date. Trying to make it exciting, but you can't really see it. It's over there in the corner. So we got to carry the light out and play this game in pitch black darkness. I just want to make it special. Not sure how my idea is working out, y'all. Alright James, <laughs> yeah I can see you, it's kind of hard. So the game is obviously everyone, I have six balloons over here and I asked the guy to put um, the date in one of the balloons. Um, James actually, I asked you to go to the store obviously just because I was trying to have time to set up and I had to run home to get the medicine to get a shot and then I had to go back to the store. So I was actually hiding behind like one of the aisles so I was scared you were going to walk in and see me getting the balloons. So I probably missed you at Kroger <laughs> like an hour, over an hour ago, just over an hour ago. <laughs> I think I had just probably barely missed you. So anyways, I got an axe. James and I bought this axe on our honeymoon. Like I said earlier today, I try to make it a little bit special with things that we love. So James, you get to see him back here and we're going to do axe throwing tonight in the middle of the night in the back of our yard. <laughs> So I have through axes a few times, but I'm not necessarily very good at it. But um, I'll go for the green one. I'll try not to hit you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <You> ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. I fucked it up. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> okay. We might wake up the neighbors. <laughs> Which color did you pop? Blue. It's not in blue. There's nothing there. Yes, it's not a boy then. <laughs> oh, pink. <laughs> I don't know. Do you see anything? I had him put it in, so. <laughs> Three balloons in, so far <laughs> You sure you put it in here? I hope so. You found it. Look, oh look what I found. Things are looking up. Another great adventure is out there. Transfer date. September 18th. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Our transfer date September 18th. And what's so special about that is it's two days after our four year wedding anniversary. So we'll probably be heading down to Chicago on our actual anniversary. Um, and we couldn't have had a better wedding gift, I don't think. Our, our first anniversary, we actually went to Chicago. So kind of special. Stories I've been told and never seem to leave my mind. Stumbery teeth! On this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time.